Welcome to day number eight of our 40 days of power. Eight is the number of new beginnings. May God begin something new with us this day as we trust him, as we pray. We are talking about God's power at work in us. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. When we abide in Christ, he abides in us. He says we bear much fruit. And when we are in Christ, the power of God works from within us. The power of the believer doesn't work outside of us, but the passage says the power that is at work in us. It is the power to will and to do of God's good pleasure. Now somebody will ask, isn't the power of God in heaven? Isn't God in heaven? Isn't that where the power of God is? That's the truth. But let me use an analogy to explain uh, the power of God at work in us. Let's use electricity. We all know that the source of the electricity in our home comes from a dam somewhere or a thermal plant somewhere. That's where the electricity is generated from. But the electricity that works in your house comes into your house from a distributor box in your house. The power from the dam comes into your house and works in your house. And that's how spiritual life is. There is the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit has a distributor box inside us. It's called our spirit. Our spirit has, that has been born again and connected to the Spirit of God. And so God works through the distributor box in us, our spirit within us to show forth his power. So the Bible says the power of God is at work in us, not outside us. Inside you sits the power of God ready to be distributed into every area of your life. So every believer walks around with the power of God sitting inside of them. Wherever you go, you carry the power of God with you. When you sit in your vehicle, the power of God is there. When you're in the office, the power of God is there. When you're in your classroom, the power of God is there. Why? Because God is at work in us. He's at work in us, not outside us. And, and, and we can be confident that every time, wherever we go, the Spirit of God in us allows the power of God to work through us. And the passage says that the power of God gives us a desire to do the will of God, makes us willing to do the will of God. And doesn't just make us willing to do the will of God, but gives us the ability to do the will of God. So when the power of God is in us, we have an appetite for God. We have a desire for God. Our vision, our dreams line up with God. And then he gives us the power, the courage, the strength, the ability to do awesome things for him. I want you to know inside you sits awesome power, enormous power. The power that had created the universe is sitting inside of you. And that's why you can see supernatural things in your life. So today as you go to face the world, remember the power of God is at work in you, not outside you. Why don't we share a word of prayer before you go out to the world and face this world? Say with me, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your power that is at work in my life. Help me to do what you want me to do and show forth your power through me in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I believe that you are carrying the power of God today. Go do some awesome things for God. And Pastor Mensah Otabel, shalom, peace, and life to you.